This morning, the first of many public memorial services for Senator Richard Luger was held at the plaza named in his honor at the city county building. Senator Luger died in his sleep Sunday morning from a neurological disease. Luger served 36 years in the United States Senate, making him the longest serving senator from Indiana News 8's Richard Essex joining us now live with a look back at Richard Luger's life. Richard. Dick Luger's vision for the city has made it what it has turned into today. He consolidated city government back in the late 60s and early 70s, and it was his drive for investment into downtown that built Market Square Arena, one of the first big arenas in the state. And according to his former staff members who served with, say that, that, that Dick Luger served the city, the state, and the nation as a gentleman. This morning, the shock of losing Richard Luger had not really settled in. It was just a few months ago during a dedication ceremony when Luger stood right in the middle of this plaza named in his honor. Jim Morris is one of the senator's oldest friends. He saw his opportunities in their largest context, had high aspirations for this community, but had a, a, um, a genuine passion for uh, young people who were sad, lonely, hungry, at risk. Um, he treated everyone the same. Richard Luger was first elected in 1968 to the first of two terms as mayor of Indianapolis. He reorganized city government. His investment in downtown gave way to the Indiana Convention Center and Market Square Arena. And that was the first thing that happened that really started the movement of people, uh, of restaurants coming downtown, People stay in after work downtown, and then then you move to the convention center, and uh, it was. But that was that was the first thing. But it was his attention to detail, his attention to the everyday person, that separated him from others. He would write the letter recommending the student who wanted to go to the military academy, or he would write this letter for the student who wanted to go to IUPUI, or he'd write the letter for the president of the United States, and he would treat everyone the same. He didn't finish the second term as mayor. After defeating Vance Harkey for a U.S. Senate seat in 1976, it was the first of six terms that he would serve in the Senate. In 1995, Luger announced his intentions to run for president. News 8's political reporter Jim Shella asked Luger at the time why he was running. I believe that I can make decisions with regard to foreign policy and the security of this country that need to be made and that are not being made currently. Luger's time on the national stage was cut short. The campaign didn't fare well and Luger returned to his duties in the Senate. Luger was known as a moderate Republican that was able to cross to reach across the aisles with ease and it was some of that moderate views that made him vulnerable in the 2012 Republican primary where he was defeated. Now, final arrangements for Senator Luger have not been finalized. In downtown Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV News 8. Richard, thank you. And if you missed today's celebration for Senator Luger, we've posted it online. You can also find stories we've done on him. It's all right now on WishTV.com.